YouTube, what's going on? YCMJ here with another video, and today I'm going to be bringing you all a tutorial. This is for the music video animation or scribble tutorial, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's basically just you drawing on your video frame by frame, and I'm going to sh be showing you all how to do it in this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. Um, the programs you're going to need for this are Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects. Here, I have a music video already edited down, and I'm sure this is what you have as well. And uh, basically, you just go through and um, you find the clip that you want to start your, your animations on. And uh, let me find one I want. Let me find a cool clip. Find a cool clip. Let's do this clip right here. All right, so you find the clip that you want to start doing your animation on in your timeline, and you right click on it, and you go to replace with After Effects Composition. And what this is going to do is it's going to open up your, your video clip in After Effects and basically already have your timeline and all that type of stuff set up. So when it opens, you basically name it what you want. Let's do uh, whatever you want to name it. Benji Scribble. Let's put on the name lines. You name yours whatever you want to. And then after you do that, it's going to open up. You'll see your clip in After Effects. Um, so from here, you go to the Window tab and... You make sure brushes and paint are checked. And this is basically gonna show you your brushes and paint panels over here on the right side. And uh, as you can see, they're grayed out at the moment, but we'll get to that. So you double click on your clip here. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna bring you to the layer palette right here. Make sure you're in the layer palette, this is very important. And um, you're gonna be in the layer palette. And then click on your paint tool, your brush tool, I'm sorry, your brush tool up here. And what this is going to do is it's going to ungray out your, your basically your paint tools and all that stuff over here. Make sure your channels are set to RGBA and your duration is set to single frame. And you find, you find the part of the clip, you scroll through and find the part of the clip that you want to start animating on. And you get to it. So. You're already on the brush tool. Give you a brief rundown on this stuff over here. Diameter is gonna reflect the size of the paintbrush that you're painting with. Uh, right here, you can adjust the color you wanna do. If you want to do a color other than white, I typically do white, so that's what I'm gonna do. You choose what you want. And uh, basically what you're doing is you're just painting on this frame by frame. So if you, if you wanna make this move, if you wanna make the paint move, you just keep in mind that it's frame by frame. So if you start drawing right here in the next frame, you'll probably start drawing right here. And then on the next frame, you'll probably start drawing right here and so on and so forth. So that's basically what I'm going to show you all how to do. And uh, you know what I'm saying? If you want to do something else, like uh, if you want to draw an X on his eyes, you will draw the X on his eyes for one frame. And then on the next frame, you will continue to keep drawing X on his eyes. Um, and keep in mind that it's typically 24 frames per second. So if you want this to last for a long time, you're going to have to do your animation over and over and over again to basically make it last for a long time. It's 24 frames in a second. You want it to last for a second, you have to go through what 24 frames to get that done. So just keep that in mind. It's as long. But I'm going to I'm going to keep this short. So um, just keep that in mind if you want to make yours longer. That's what you do. So here I'm just going to make the paint go like uh, basically throughout its whole body. So the first frame I would draw right here, and then I would skip to the next frame. If you're on Mac, you would hold the F and key and use the up and down uh, buttons to go from previous and next frame. And if you're on Windows, you use the page up and page down keys. So that's the first frame that I drew on. So on the next frame, I would I would draw I would draw it right here as well, but I would just make it go up a little bit more. So go to the next frame. I would go right here. On the next frame, let me keep it like right here. Next frame right here. Next frame right here. And again, this is just a rough job. If you know, if you want to get this more in detail, this is what you would do. I'm just showing you all how to do it. So make it go right there for the next frame. Next one. Basically just go through and do what you want to do. We got through his whole body. Let's go through and preview what we got. This is gonna start right here.
All right, so yeah, so there you can see it went through. And if you want this to reflect into your actual Premiere project, all you have to do is do save. So you do command save or whatever your key command is on Windows. I'm sorry, I don't use Windows. So you just save it and then when you go back to Premiere, you'll see that this, that this clip is actually like a red color. And it basically reflects whatever you did in Premiere is gonna be reflective to, I mean, whatever you did in After Effects is gonna be reflective to Premiere. You can see right there that animation goes all the way through. It's a million different things you can do with this. You can get super creative with it. You can do X's on people's eyes or halos or horns or wings, whatever you want to do. Uh, basically, whatever you saw in the Keys video that I did, you can do as well. You know what I'm saying? You can do beyond that. Like, I'm the most horrible drawer in the world, so you can make some cool stuff out of this. Just, just get creative with it. So. That's going to conclude my tutorial for today. If you liked it, make sure to like it, comment, also subscribe. And uh, if you have any additional questions, please leave them down in the comments. I'll make sure to answer those. But until next time, peace, YouTube.